Okay, is this everybody? Let's go ahead and get started, okay? Uh, first things first, it's that time of year. Don't forget we have to offer a flu shot and a COVID vaccine to every single patient that comes in, okay? If they don't want it, just document they refuse. Just make sure you're documenting that you're offering them, okay? Thank you. Um, also, uh, we don't have any flu shots or COVID vaccines available. Uh, thank you. Okay, so the ER is basically admitting anyone that's co that comes through the doors. So we have some interesting diagnosis coming up. Uh, first one, a 34-year-old male. Can't remember if he took his pills this morning. Okay. Uh, then we have a uh, rule out long COVID. Um, we have a 48 year old female allergic to cats, but decided to go ahead and hang out with a bunch of cats last night anyways. And then we have an 89 year old female who is bound to fall any time now. That just sounds like they're setting us up for failure. Um, all right. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the suggestion box. This one says, um, remember that when you have a room open up, the longer you wait to call housekeeping, the longer you have an empty room. Now that's good advice. Thank you. Okay, well you guys have a great shift. Just remember that if you or a loved one were diagnosed with hypertrichosis or Peyronie's disease after drinking water out of one of our ice machines, you may already be eligible for financial compensation.